But you guys got another video on how to download drivers for unknown devices on any PC. Now, sometimes unknown brands uh, don't offer drivers for their devices. Now, if you own a mini PC, you may go to the manufacturer's website and you may not find drivers for them. So when you go and reinstall Windows, then you may have issues with unknown drivers. Fortunately, Geekcom are not one of these companies. They do offer drivers for all of their mini PCs. And this makes it super easy to find drivers for that device when you go to reinstall the operating system, which I had to do on this device. Now I have run into issues before with other companies where I've gone to reinstall Windows and I can't find the drivers for that particular type of device. Unknown motherboard drivers, chipset drivers, and things like this can be really difficult uh, to find. And if you don't know what they are and you don't have any internet connectivity, this can cause a lot of problems. So I want to show you a way of getting around this by using a free piece of software. So you can see here on this device, we have unknown devices and we also have uh, drivers that are missing for this particular device. Now I can go to the Geekom website and download all of these drivers. But I wanted to show you another way of going about doing this if you do have a mini PC where websites are not offering you drivers for that particular device. And it's really important that we get these drivers on here because otherwise the system is not going to work correctly. You can see when I do a search for updates for these drivers, it's not finding them. Now you can check the hardware ID on these as well, which is very time consuming. And if it's an unknown device, it can be very, very tricky to find the drivers for these unknown devices. This is where Snappy Driver Installer Origin comes from. This has been made by Glenn Delahoy, and this is the one that you want to use. So if it doesn't say Snappy Driver Installer Origin by Glenn Delahoy, then you don't really want to use it. This is a portable application that it's going to scan your system and allow us to find the drivers for it. So I'm going to drag the folder onto my desktop. And once this unpacks, I'm going to basically run this program. And this will then allow me to try and scan for drivers and download them. Now I did a video on this uh, a few months ago, and a few people said they wanted to see a full in-depth tutorial on this piece of software. And that is why I've been waiting for a unknown driver type of device to come along so I can show you. So we're going to click on the executable file for x64 here and then run this. And we say yes to the user account control, accept their terms, conditions. And we will now see there is loads of red here. And that means we have drivers missing. I'm going to be downloading indexes only. This is the quickest and fastest way and best way of getting drivers for this device. You can see here, this allows you to scan the PC to see which drivers is needed uh, to be installed or to be updated. The download will only take a few minutes, but you'll need to have an internet connection uh, so we can get these installed and downloaded on the system. So I'm going to go into expert mode here. And what we're going to do here is going to put the check mark in unknown here as well. And you can see it's starting to detect uh, some drivers that are needed on this system. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to run a scan and then download these for this little mini device here. Now, like I've said before, if you can get drivers from the manufacturer's website, then you're always best to get them from there first. But we're gonna be running this assuming that we can't get them from the manufacturer's website and we're forced to do something like this to get drivers for our little device. And you can now see it's saying that we have 55 driver packs uh, for our system. I'm gonna create a restore point here and if you wanted to, you could put check marks in the ones that you want to download. If you need to download all of them, then you don't need to physically put check marks into them. You can just literally click on the select all and this will download all of the drivers that we need. Now we've got them all check marked here. There's a little area on the left hand side here, which will tell us where we can click, which says install. So what we're going to do is go over to the install section, click on install, and this will then start to download and get all of our driver packs for us for this particular device. Now this does take a bit of time. You can see it's 1.33 gigabytes and it's gonna download all of these and unpack them and then install them onto our system. So I will speed this process up so you don't get bored, but you can see here installing one of 13 and we're gonna allow this to happen. So it's gonna create a restore point 
and then it's going to go ahead and start getting these downloaded and installed on this little mini PC. Now, normally big companies like MSI, Asus, ASRock, and companies like these will normally have quite a good driver support through Windows. So when you uh, go to reinstall Windows, it generally finds all of the drivers, as long as you've got an internet connection, it will download the drivers automatically from the Microsoft servers. Unknown brands or not so well-known brands from maybe Chinese companies and things like that sometimes can cause problems and you can end up with unknown drivers. And this is because they use their own type of hardware and it's not quite recognized by Microsoft. So you may need to physically go off and download these drivers from their manufacturer's websites. Or if you don't get the offer to download these uh, drivers from the manufacturer's website, you will need to use something like this to get the drivers installed onto that device. Now, if the mini PC is using well-known branded parts, it's a good chance that there's going to be drivers on the Microsoft server for that mini PC. But if it's an unknown brand, then you may have difficulties and end up with the unknown drivers. So now we've got all the drivers downloaded and installed, it's time to restart the system and get this uh, system updated. Now, depending on whether you've got Windows updates as well, always check for Windows updates and update those as well to make sure you've got all those installed on the system as well. So having no internet connection can cause this to happen during the installation process of Windows. If you don't have an internet connection, you can end up with unknown drivers or drivers are missing from your device manager, and that's pretty common. And that is pretty much it. We've got those now updated and installed on the system. And what we're going to do is we're going to head over to device manager to see whether all of those drivers have been installed and there is now no missing drivers or drivers with yellow exclamation marks or unknown drivers. So let's go ahead and check inside device manager to see whether all the drivers are installed. So we can now open up device manager here and there we go. And I can already tell that they have all been found and been installed on this system. And this is basically all your PC repair technician is going to do. He's going to find drivers by using something like Snappy Driver Installer to get your drivers installed if you have a device that's not working correctly or has missing drivers. Now, if you don't know how to do this, this can be a real troublesome uh, job to do, and it can be a nightmare to get these installed and working. And you can use this technique on any sort of old laptop or old legacy hardware that doesn't have any updates for drivers anymore on their websites and they made them obsolete, you can use this tool to download and get them installed on any PC or any device. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a special shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really appreciate the support. A special shout out to Mike Bigness, Albert Hewson, Mar Sierra, Jedi Buddhist, Geo Sam, Phil's Computer Repair and Welsh Tony One. I really do appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.